Hi, and welcome to this session on manual testing with Microsoft Visual Studio Team Services or VSTS. My name is Niranjan. In this session, we will see what are the prerequisites and what do we plan to learn. So the prerequisites, of course, to enable the uh, manual testing within VSTS, you'll need to have an account created in Microsoft VSTS site. The test manager extension uh, or feature is not enabled by default. You can download a trial version, a 30 day trial version from the website given. What we will learn is how to create a test plan, how to create test cases within the test plan, add the manual test scripts or steps to the test cases, execute the test, Bug tracking is completely integrated into VSTS, so we can also raise defects as appropriate to the steps that have failed. And for review purpose, we can also print or email the execution report. I've logged in to the VSTS site and I've gone to the test tab. So these are the other tabs that, as you can see, which primarily enables uh, the complete uh, team to work on uh, development as well as uh, testing. So let's concentrate on the test tab where we can go ahead and start creating our uh, test plans. So I already have a test plan that is created or I can also go ahead and create uh, additional test plans as appropriate for my project from this particular uh, step. Now since I have a test plan already created, I can start by creating a test case within this particular uh, test plan. So let me enter a title here, something like a place order uh, test case. Uh, typically in an agile environment, I can also link this particular test case to a user story. So I can use this particular option and make this test case as a child for any particular user stories that we are uh, testing for. Well. Um, let me start by adding uh, the test steps now for this particular uh, test case. So I start by adding login. So I'll typically add uh, three steps. I'll login to the website. I can also provide expected results, so which is which will come in handy during the manual testing process. So I just say login page uh, should come up. The second step, let me add two more steps. So place order. So add uh, expected results. Uh, value should be auto calculated. And uh, let me add the last step. Uh, log out of the website so expected result logout page should come up so let me now save and close uh, the test case uh, post this i can then go ahead and start my uh, execution so i just click on run and uh, run test the Microsoft Test Runner screen will now come up, which can be used to pass or fail the steps that I have just entered. The Test Runner page has just come up, so let me start by <laughs> clicking on pass to the first step. Maybe the second step has failed, so I can create a bug at this particular stage. So let me enter a title like value not properly calculated and uh, let me just expand this a bit. I can provide priorities, maybe higher priority, uh, critical severity and uh, I can save and close. So the bug is now linked to this particular uh, step, so I can fail it, so I can add a reason like uh, raised 
bug to dev team and I can pass the last step so my manual testing is now completed so I can now save and close the outcome will now be displayed as a fail so I can actually go and see the test execution details at any point of time I go to the runs tab and uh, look at the details of uh, details of the test execution so I can double click on the test execution that was just completed I can look at the graphical view of the test execution I can go to the test results tab I can double click on the failed test execution and uh, see which are the steps that have failed and what is the reason for those so at any point of uh, time so this whole test execution can be used can also be printed or emailed for appropriate review during the uh, testing complete testing uh, process so let's have a look at that so I go back to the test plans tab to either print or email the report so in case email servers have been configured you can very well email them or you can also print the whole test execution uh, report so in the test plan tab I have selected the outcome and clicked on the print uh, icon so I here let's just print uh, for now and you can see the format a pretty good format that can be used for any particular uh, review purpose so this is the test plan execution report or the complete execution report so as I, as I mentioned this can be used for any particular uh, review process well friends that's it for now uh, thanks for joining this particular uh, session